All right, so I am not muted this time. Hello, 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 everyone. This is Junior, and welcome to my sweet stalker. I don't know what happened to the game. It just disappeared. That's kind of odd. Well, okay. Oh, there we go. Nope, that was just the game starting. I'm going to shut now because the intro would be Actually, I don't really need to. It's just going to show you the characters. I wait for a way to skip this, but there is not. This is behind my camera, my uh, little box up here. Oh my god, so laggy. Jeez. Like, it worked perfectly for Slendrina, and... Well, yeah, that's the only game I recorded with this, is Slendrina. And... I know, every time I seem to be getting close to the end with this game, right as I'm ending it, my app just shuts off in my face, and that's really... I'm about to lay back. Because I have problems with my leg right now. I'm having leg problems. But yeah, that was the intro you guys just saw. Anyways, I wake up in the morning and check social media. First, my personal account. And then my advice network. Looks like I have a new request. I open up the message that arrived during the night. People say you can solve any problem. I hope you'll be able to help me. My mustache tends to do that. It's annoying. <laughs> Gets in my mouth. <laughs> anyway. Wow, my reputation is really growing, isn't it? Ugh. I really hate my mustache. I need to shave this thing off. Can I solve any problem? I can solve any problem? Question mark. That's a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> After I entered college, I realized I had a talent for giving people advice. Sometimes people just need a nudge in the right direction. Oh, my mustache feels so weird. I need to shave this thing. I uh, hit the microphone. You guys okay? Anyway. Sometimes they just need someone to listen to them. So I made an anonymous social media account to offer free advice. It's gained a lot of attention since then. Sometimes I hear people discussing it around campus, even though they don't know it's me. Let's see. What's this person need help with? Let's see what this person needs help with. There we go. My life feels hopeless. I have no talents or skills. Sounds like we'll be dealing with some self-esteem issues. Ugh. You're going to be seeing me doing that a lot, like fidgeting with my mustache, because I feel like it's bugging me all the time. Sounds like, well, yeah, I said that already. It would be so bad if I wasn't so alone, but there's no one I can turn to. Or no one cares about me. Oh, sorry to hear that. I'm afraid I'll be able, I'll be like this for my entire life. Unloved and worthless. Oh, no, don't say that. Phew, this might be a rough one. I take a deep breath and compose a reply. What should I suggest? Yes, I know this already. Reaching out to people around her. It's concerning that she feels she has no one she can go to. Isolation can be a big problem. A good support network, besides me, will do wonders for helping her. Is there anyone around you that you can talk to? Family, friends, classmates, or neighbors? Don't be afraid that you're bothering them or anything like that. I'm sure there are lots of people who want to talk to you. They might even be hoping that you'll reach out to them. Try striking up a conversation about something simple. Simple, simple, sorry, TikTok. <laughs> you never know what will happen. Ugh. It's not a perfect solution to her problems just yet, but it's a step in the right direction. 
I send the message and include my customary reminder. Feel free to contact me for further support and advice anytime. My god, I hate this mustache, I swear. Like, it's not that I hate it for the look or anything. I feel like it's, there's always something wrong with it. Like, there's hairs up in the wrong spot. I need to get it combed or something. Reply comes almost immediately. Thank you so much. I'll try right away. Wow, she's already seems like she's in better spirits. I want to turn on my fan, but... Like, this is going to cause a lot of noise and you guys won't be able to hear me that well. So, I have to suffer. Oh my god. I have to ignore this mustache. It's really bugging me. Blech. Call this Junior's Mustache Simulator. Yuck. Wow, she's already... Yeah, I read that. Whistling to myself, I close out of the social media account. Oh my god. Then, I get ready to head and head to class. Have you heard about the online advice network? Itchy mustache. Okay. This doesn't bug me when I'm recording on PlayStation. Why is it bugging me now? Probably because I can see it. Huh? You mean that one that was trending last week? Yeah, I heard a rumor that the person who runs it is actually a student in, at this university. No way, are you serious? I guess that would explain how they managed to give such specific advice about that one scandal. They continue to gossip, but I get out my notes pretending I know nothing about it. Right now, my personal life is neatly separated from my advice network. And that's the way I like it. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Sorry. Staying anonymous is a lot easier. I really hate this. Because the slightest touch on my mustache and I could feel it. It's freaking weird. If people knew I was the one who ran the account, it could cause trouble. This is better for everyone. <laughs> It's May. Hey, May. Hey, Junior. It's May. Her little anime introduction. Okay. Hey, May, how are your classes? Don't mind me messing around with my mustache every five seconds. Ugh. Need to shave this whole thing. Again, I whacked the mic. Are you guys okay? Pretty good. I managed to squeak by one of my last tests. She smiles proudly. I don't know if squeaking by is something so proud about. May and I were best friends all through high school and... She was determined to get into the same university as me. I still remembered how hard she studied and how many days I spent helping her study. Some of the things they expect you to remember, though. I don't know how some people get straight A's all the time. If that was younger me, I would have been like straight A's all the time. <laughs> Sorry. What should I say? Want to help studying for the next one? What? I might not be in the class, but I could still help. Hmm, I don't want to cause you any trouble. It's no trouble at all. I never mind helping you. She giggles and winks. Whoa, I wink at me. <sighs> Mama help me. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that every so often, like, not every five minutes every time. It's I feel like it's bothering me. Like, all day today, it's not bugging me up until now. <clears throat> Mustache, I'm going to cut it off. She, yeah, I read that. Oh, I might just take you up on that offer, at least 
for your company, if nothing else. Uh, why do I have a feeling that May's idea of study session involves more snacks than books? You always know just the right thing to say. Because I know what I'm talking about. <sighs> no wonder you're so popular. Excuse you. <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> I'm not exactly popular on campus, but of course that's not what she means. I have to get my hand off here. I'm almost hitting that add button in the bottom left corner. May is the one person who knows I run the advice network. Okay, I'm gonna... Where's my bubble? I don't know. Oh, I just skipped a bunch of stuff, didn't I? Yep. I don't know your name yet. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Ugh, hang on. Oh, it's Shiki. Hi, Shiki. Sorry for being late. Her words are so quiet. Wait, it's like, sorry for being late. I'm going to give them voices, but you're not late. Is that so? She turns to glance at the clock and blushes. I'm glad. She would seem not like the same type that of voices here. You know, I'm just going to give her a normal voice like the other girl. But then again, I'm going to talk normally. So. Despite her stoic demeanor, she can get flustered over the smallest things. Shiki is very quiet and shy, but pretty adorable. Even though she's been in the club with us for a while now. She still seems awkward at times. I wish I could reassure her more. But then I might let it slip that I know more than she thinks. As far as Shiki knows. We met on the day she showed up at our meeting and asked to join the computer club. Mm -hmm. Flashback? But she actually came to me for advice first through my social media network. She was embarrassed about her interests and didn't want people to look down on her. Oh, she did. I still haven't decided who I'm going to go to yet or go for yet because I know I said I might go for May, but I'm debating. Ah, I was trying to wipe something off my screen. I guess I got lucky now I'm surrounded by two cute girls. And then the third one's going to come in the blondie that we saw on the screen before. Or during the intro. How are your classes today, Shiki? Good. I have an essay to write. Let me guess, you finished all the rest of your homework already? Well, um, yes. As the two of them talk, the rest of our club members slowly arrive. Wiki, 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 wiki. <laughs> Soon everyone is here. Everybody! Pay attention! All right, let's get started. <laughs> oh. Bleh. Anyway. It's a good meeting of the computer club, and by the time it's over, I'm in high spirits. We've really got a great group of people. Shiki is probably better at computers than any of us, although she's still too shy to show it openly. Still, she's making progress. Hey, Junior! Hey, Yuta. How are things going? Not bad. Off to practice now. I guess you're just finishing up with your club meeting. That's right. <laughs> Always playing around with computers, just like in high school. You never change. What should I say? It's more than just playing. It's more than just playing. It's more than just playing. He lifts his hands into the air and steps back. Hey, I know that. I didn't mean anything by it. I have to tap the screen twice sometimes. That's how laggy my tablet is. Sorry, I guess I am still a little defensive at times. In high school, my interests in computers and video games caused a lot of kids to bully me. That changed once I became friends with Utah. No one wants to mess with the popular athlete's best friend. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> my hockey game on my phone. <laughs> Bugging me. I better hurry or I'll be late. See you around. Have fun. Football, probably? Back in my apartment, I toss my books onto the table and get out my phone. I respond to texts from May and Utah, then I switch over to my advice network. A new message is waiting. What's your name? This sounds like a Doki Doki type of thing, but except no one's going to be getting deleted from the game like sh like her. Sh why does she seem like she has Monica vibes? I can already tell, like the girl on the phone screen. If there's going to be four girls in this game instead of three, that will be creepy. <laughs> Oh, no, it won't be creepy, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's from that girl again. Thank you again for earlier. Oh, her name's Kimiko E. My name is Kimiko, by the way. I'm so happy I decided to ask you for help. So, do you think we could hang out sometime? I'd love to meet you. Maybe we could get coffee. Whoa. She's definitely in a better mood right now, but this isn't going in the direction I hoped it would go. I take a moment to compose a reply. A polite reply. I'm sorry, but I keep my account here separate from my personal life. I'll be happy to offer advice, however. There. There. I just hope she's not too disappointed. I set down my phone and start working on my homework. I should have this set up somewhere. Then again, not really, because then you'd see my whole body and I'd be going... Which is why I keep it like this, so you guys don't have to see me pressing the screen all the time. Once I finish everything for tomorrow, I check my messages. Hmm? I don't understand. Why can't we hang out? You're not like anyone I've ever met before. I feel like I can talk to you. Can't you make an exception? I won't tell anyone who you are, I promise. Oh boy, I see she's not taking it well. I have little hairs I notice out of the corner of my eye that are poking up on my mustache, which is why I'm doing this every now and again. I pinched a bridge of my nose and carefully write another response, so I was like, oh. Is this the bridge, or is this the bridge? I don't know. It's like, oh. I don't know. Or another response. I explain it in more detail why we shouldn't meet. This time, I try to frame it more from her perspective, too. After all, I'm still a stranger to her. Becoming so attached to me, just because I helped her, isn't healthy. I finished with some basic advice on meeting new people around her. Here's hoping she gets it this time. Other people don't understand me. Not the way you do. Yandere vibes. Please, I've never felt this way about anyone before. I think I'm falling in love with you. That's fast. Um, what? Itchy notes. Don't you trust me? What do you think I'm going to do if we meet? Please, I want to talk to you. As more messages continue to arrive, I shake my head and move on to other work. Finally, I risk another look. Are you ignoring me? Is this the kind of man you really are? You said all those nice things before just to hurt me now by rejecting me. How would you feel if something happened to me? Would you feel happy? How could you be so cruel? Someday you'll know what it feels like. Someday you'll know this pain. Uh, okay, this is definitely getting out of hand. Although I feel guilty, I sent one final message with, a, with resources that might be able to help with her problems. Then I block her. Oh, you're gonna do that. Or I don't gotta do that. Poor girl, I, I hope she gets the help she needs. I continue to think about her over the next few days, but there's nothing more I can do. At least I can still give advice to other people and hopefully help them. Itchy leg, sorry. That's why the camera went up. Hang on. I'll be right back.
I have returned. Sorry about that. At least I can still give advice to other people and hopefully help them. Hey! May waves her hands wildly as she runs down the sidewalk toward me. Are you okay? You've seemed a bit down over the past few days. What should I say? It's nothing. An advice request. I'm not going to lie to my friend. An advice request went badly. What happened? I briefly described the exchange with Kimiko. When I finish, May lets out a low whistle. Wow, that sounds scary. Yeah! It wasn't scary as much as frustrating. I wanted to help that girl, but I couldn't. She sounds like sh the sort who might have tried something drastic. Blocking her was definitely the right decision. I know I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to hang out. Want to hang out to get your mind off of it? Sure. What did you have in mind? There's a new movie downtown. That sounds like our sort of thing. It's a sci-fi story. As May and I walk through the campus together, I feel better for the first time since I blocked Kimiko. Leave it to my best friend to always know how to cheer me up. It's the next week, and I've fallen back into my usual routine completely. Maybe it's because my professors gave us so much homework. I can't think about anything else. Ugh, so much work. May and I were going to hang out after class, but I don't think I should. I better let her know I can't make it. I turn on my phone and send her a text. And my heart leaps in my throat. My advice account is still up on the screen. I quickly close out of it. Now I know I've been oh, overworked lately. It's been ages since I slept up like that. I glance around the room. Was anyone close enough to see? You okay, man? Ah! Yeah, just worn out from all the homework we've had lately. How long have you been standing there? He furrows his brow. Mm. Huh, I just got here now. Thank goodness. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Doesn't look like anyone saw my screen. I close my secret social media account. Then I send May a text letting her know I can't hang out. Guess I'll head back and try to get through at least some of this work tonight. Man, I've... If even a genius like you feels overwhelmed, they're definitely giving us too much homework. <laughs> I'm not a genius. Whatever you say. Shaking my head, I gather my things together and hurry out of the classroom. So much homework. I work through as much as I can before I need to call it a night. I hope it doesn't cut out soon, because normally, like maybe five minutes after this part, it'll cut out as I'm doing my outro, so. All right, it's good to see everyone. A few days have passed, but the amount of homework has only increased. Since our professors seem determined to crush our spirits this semester, I suggest we take this time to study. Here, here. Oh, thank you. She looks quietly down at the table. I almost didn't come today, but I didn't want to skip a meeting. Huh? She seems unusually downcast today. Is it just because of how much work she has, or did something happen? While everyone starts working, I sit down alongside Shiki. Is everything okay? Uh, oh, yes. It's nothing you need to worry about. Hey, we're club mates. If something's bothering you, I want to help. It's silly, though. It's just... She bites her lip and looks away. I can't really do that. Sorry. I was like... I can't bite my lip. I look terrible when I do so. <laughs> anyway. My computer science class is going well. I already have my project done. Same goes for math and science. This all sounds pretty positive, so I have a feeling I know where this is going. But my literature and composition classes, I can see a bit of strain on her usually emotionless face, are more difficult. Most people aren't good at every subject. 
me IRL, I suck at math. <laughs> <laughs> the girls in my dorm complain about math. Well, I don't suck at it. It's something that I'm not really used to doing a lot. Like, I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I write stories. I, well, I'm good at English. I speak it, obviously. But, like, uh, that's not all English is. Like, English is, like, like literature, like, putting periods, capitalization, so on and so forth. Anyway, they sit around reading, but I, I don't enjoy it. People assume I would. Then they find out I like math and science, and they look at me strangely. Just, I just wish I was more... She trails off, falls silent, shaking her head. Shiki really wishes she was more normal, but I think she's fine the way she is. Shiki's interest in computers isn't the only thing that's, that embarrasses her. She also has an obsession with the idea that the subjects she's best at or at make her weird. What should I say? Those are just stereotypes. I guess so. There's nothing wrong with struggling with literature. And there's definitely nothing wrong with being good at math, science, and comp science. Maybe it's silly. Your interests make you unique and interesting. I'm opening the window. I'm dying. Please let it open easily. Yay. Hang on. Eh. Window power. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting kind of hot in here, that's why. I would turn on the fan, but then it'd be really, really noisy, and you guys wouldn't be able to hear me, probably. My screen's all dirty. I gotta clean my screen after this. Like, not not, not the screen up here. I mean, like, the whole screen in general, I gotta clean. Here. Yeah. Have a little more pride in them. She finally looks up at me, and I watched a tiny corner of her lips turn. She smiled. Is that a smile? It's hard to tell, but... I'm glad if I could raise her spirits, even just a little. I see a hint of pink appear on her cheeks. She's blushing. Um, thank you. I feel better now. Great. Anyway, want some help with your homework? I could at least take a look. Sure. We work together for the rest of the meeting. I'm actually happy. It's not really laggy anymore. Phew, I'm beat. I've made good progress on my homework today. It's finally coming together. Time to call it a night. The soft buzzing of my phone catches my attention as I put away my notes. Hmm? A text? I check my phone, but the number isn't familiar. We're destined to be together. Why don't you see that? Uh, probably just a wrong number or an attempted scam, right? A little uneasy, I shut my phone off. The strange message is still on my mind as I go to sleep. Ooh, boy. Huh. My head feels heavy. I blink around in the darkness. My eyes burn and I cough. The air is thick with... Smoke! Fully awake, I sit straight up. Then sh the shrill ringing of the fire alarm becomes clear to me. Ah, my eyes! My apartment is on fire. A fire? I've got to get out of here. But how did the fire start? Is it connected to the creepy text I received? Please don't cut off on me now. Please don't. I'm about to move on to part two. Or This is the prologue. My sweet stalker. And? I'm going to end it here. I'm going to press continue on so I can be ready for next episode. But I'm going to start doing my outro unless it decides to cut out on me. Let me just X here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to X here. I'll just get it all ready for next time when I'm done recording. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more things like games, reaction videos, vlogs, challenges, and PlayStation 4 videos. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure it is gray, not red, because if it's red, you're missing out on my content. And how you know you're subscribed, you see a big old bell icon appear next to my channel name and logo. Hit that, and you'll get notified when I upload. And I will see you guys and girls in the next one. Au revoir.